Welcome to another amazing robo cell activity. Finally, part three of three for handshaking mill and robot. All we have left is to write the code. One of the biggest suggestions I can make to you is trying to remember all these input two, output three type things. My biggest suggestion is to use this variable icon up here. This variable icon will allow me to assign a number and a name together. So when I use a name in my program, to replace that name with a number, just like it did in Robot C. So the really cool part is I can now type in the word vice, and vice equals one. So now every time I type the word vice, it'll replace that with the number one. So that's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do that really for the majority of them. I'll go ahead and say, this is my feeder, and feeder is a three. And I'll go ahead and say, start, cycle, oops, got to be in the window, start, C Y C L E. start cycle is a two, and the last one I really care about is going to be busy, busy is a one, so every time the mill sends me a one as my input, it tells me that it's busy, all right, so that's really easy, so now I don't have to try to remember those things as I'm writing my program, it makes it a lot easier. So what I'm going to do now is a remark, and I'm just doing that to kind of divide up my program a little bit. So if you don't know the hot commands for it, if I go to commands and go to program flow, what I want is <coughs> the RE for remark. So I'm going to say remark, and with that I'm just going to grab my asterisk tool and go about yay far. So it'll just give me a nice visual break in between my program from section to section. Now I'm going to go ahead and name it. So remark, this is pick up block from feeder. All right, pick up the block from the feeder. Now that I have that, <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and write the code to be able to do that. So I will turn on output feeder. I don't have to type numbers anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a wait, which is the WT, or I can just double click it. So I'm gonna wait for two seconds, 20 tenths of a second. That's just enough to make sure that the pneumatic cylinder has pushed the block all the way out. I'll now turn off the feeder, and I'll go get the cube. So um, one thing that I may have forgotten to do is put my um, clo or open gripper go to 99. Um, I really could kind of do those at any point in time, but I, I kind of like them to be up here. Really. Um, Actually, maybe even before this remarks. Remember, I can input code too. So I'm going to grab up there. I'm going to say my open gripper, and I'm going to do my go to position 99 fast. Okay, so now those are really outside of that. Um, go get this. That's really just homing up the robot again. All right, so now we're going to do it. So we'll go down to position 11 fast. I'm going to go straight down to position 1 slow, close my gripper. Go back up to position 11 slow. And now it's time we're going to go ahead and pivot over to our position 100 fast. So this should really be everything about going down, getting the feeder on, grabbing the block, bringing it up here. So now I'm going to copy my remark. Oops. And it's Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to put in a remark um, place block in feeder. Okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and put it in there, close the vise, and so on. So this is going to be a process of going into position 13 fast. I'm going to go linear down to position 3 slow. I'm going to go back up to position 13 slow, and then back out to position 100 fast. I'll go ahead and tell the machine that I want it to close the vise. So turn on output. Vice. Same thing, if I want to go ahead and put in a small weight for two seconds to make sure the vise is completely pressurized, I have it completely held into place before I start the cycle. So this will be pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and say turn on output, start, cycle. All right. So once the cycle has started, I want to wait just a couple seconds to make sure that the handshake has been sent from the robot over to the mill, and the robot in the mill has received it, it's up on its merry way, then I need to stop sending that signal. 
So I'll do that same kind of wait for two seconds. And then I'm going to turn the cycle right back off. Now I want to make sure when it gets to the end of the cycle that it might not accidentally go right back into operation again. So I turned on the cycle. I waited for two seconds. I turned off the cycle. And the mill is going to start running as soon as the release receives the signal. So now what I want is a command that we've not used before. I want to make sure that the robot will sit and wait for the mill to get done. So I have a command for that. So I have wait for digital input on, and I have wait for digital input off. So I want the off command, WF. So if I say WF, I say wait for input number busy. So as soon as busy is off is when I want to go ahead and run my program. So now that the mill is done, then I want the robot to go ahead and go back in and get the block. So I'll do my same thing. I'm going to copy, paste that, do a remark of get block from mill. And I'll just repeat my process of getting right back. So we'll be right back. Okay, now we've done that. So now that we're back at our position 100, I now want the robot to slide down to the end, go to our position to put it away. So all I'm going to copy, and so Control C, Control V, to another little remark, and this is place block in storage. All right, so final code is I'm going to slide over to position 12 as fast as the robot can go. I'm going to move down to position at a speed 50%. Let go of the block, go back up to my position 12, and then return the robot to home. So go to position 99 fast. So now our biggest thing is to cross our fingers, and we go up to the top of the program, and we try to run it. So I'm going to run it. Uh, fairly fast, so hopefully you'll be able to see it run, and if it's all good, then I'll be right back. Oops, we can see right there that I forgot to let go of the block. So, fairly easy. I can come up here right above 13. I want to put in an open gripper. So go to 13, go to 3, open gripper, go back to 3. So all I'm going to do is go back up to here, my remarks, and return the code from there. Not too bad. Happy with the code. Hope yours works too. And finally, handshaking is done. Thank <laughs> you.